when we first started the company and um, there was nobody in New Zealand looking at or doing anything that was in the outdoor performance clothing range. Everybody who goes to Antarctica gets issued with a whole range of the clothing. If you're in a storm, you can pull that right down and you've got a little microclimate that gets formed by the fur. This is your survival unit. If you get caught out, you're going to be fine. In the old days, you, hadn't, you couldn't tighten it as well because you had just a toggle. So the whole concept of the hood is exactly as it was. You know, that's much easier to hold right out. It's essentially the same, but just with modern, modernised fabrics and materials. David's um, family had a manufacturing business in Dunedin, and it was established um, in the early 1900s. And his grandfather was a mountaineer, and his grandfather had a close relationship with Sir Edmund Hillary. They were good friends, and Roland made the sleeping bag that Ed took to, on his famous climb of Everest. In fact, that was one of the reasons the New Zealanders were able to be included on the expedition, because one of the, the conditions was that they wanted those New Zealand sleeping bags. So this was the jacket that they developed for the, um, for the team that went down to the South Pole. And of course, the story is well known. They crossed the pole in the um, farm tractors. David's father was one of the two engineers that was responsible for converting the Massey Ferguson farm tractor. Since 2008, when we first supplied the full set of garments to Antarctic New Zealand, the original units, that's 2010 years later, are still being worn and used. At the time that goes into this is huge. The wire around here is hand cut. In fact, David, my husband, cuts every piece of this and it's put into the garments. So each of these is personally handled by the CEO of Earthy Sky. Just the feedback's good. It's, it's, they enjoy wearing it. We've had really positive feedback. Ephraim, Arthur, Roland, Murray, David, you. Six. you you're the sixth, sixth generation to be involved in outdoor um, manufacturing in New Zealand. What have you got, Jane? A lot of tour, the tourism industry is a lot of our market because they want a New Zealand made product from New Zealand product. So often they want more colours than just black, whereas Kiwis and Australians tend to say red or black, we're good. We can guarantee that all our raw product comes from New Zealand, which is a big advantage. To stay where we're at, that's a thread we've all got. We love it and we've got a passion for it. The people I work with are fantastic. I'm just getting some garments out. We hold cut pieces in a couple of garments. And that injection of the youth, the eye for design, the knowledge of machining is just gold for us. To be a cutter, it requires a lot of skill. Each one of these is one size. It's, um, it's a Polar Tech 200. When the buzzer goes, I can take it up, take everything off and just Restack it how I found it. Hi guys, this team here, highly skilled. The new merino that we've got in, that's we're getting, and it is a lot nicer. Accuracy is important for every garment that we make. This is the last job now. People at work here, they've got great commitment, they've got incredible skills and one of the things that I think that we can offer is a nice work environment and flexibility and a good team. You know. So we're very lucky to have these girls here, highly skilled.